let us come back and see this uh, concept that is bonding in metal carbonyl so this is a direct question they may ask you like this explain the bonding in metal carbonyl so let us write see the uh, concept first and then come go back to the examples of metal carbonyls so whenever i have to speak about the metal carbonyls what actually is this so your metal that is your d block or your transition elements of the d block element metal is going to combine with your carbonyl which has a lone pair of electrons and metal has an vacant d orbital and this is going to donate electrons and together they're going to form a bond called metal carbonyl complex so we they want us to explain this so now whenever i speak about metal this is your transition element metal we very well know it has a vacant d orbital right right so now important thing <coughs> whenever you're writing such things you have to be very careful with the signs this metal or uh, metal uh, with its orbital is going to combine with your carbonyl group which has a lone pair so i'm going to write that here in this way so these are the lone pair of electrons and the next one is minus first important thing in step one there is shift of sigma electrons from carbon to the metal so what is, what is happening here metal carbonyl sigma bond is formed first sigma bond mm -hmm. formation right mm -hmm. so shift of sigma this one is done so how does this look like so first important <coughs> your metal is here the slope carbonyl is here the slope and together it's going to form one single lobe if i have to draw like this one single lobe between shade both the electrons so both, both the lone pair as bonded between this now this is your sigma bond formation so here these are your lone pairs if i have to write now after this lone pair uh, sharing after the sigma bond formation next important thing metal carbonyl pi bond formation so how how does this happen so just see <coughs> you're going to take that metal now you're going to represent the pi bonds so the pi bond of this metal this one yes <coughs> now if this you are drawing on this side also fine so carbonyl group oxygen yes your pi bond of this now your pi bond of this now this also has oops. This, these were these are the pi bonds these are the pi bonds now shifting of pi electron starts back bonding this also starts back bonding so when it's trying to donate the electrons from from metal back to the carbonyl group how does this bond look your metal these are the lobes and there's a pi bond formed above this is yours o and a pi bond is formed below so just see there's a formation of pi bond what is the use of this what actually is why is this happening okay whenever we are we study about electron displacements concept we have studied in grade 11 hyper conjugation hope you remember that so because of this it's going to attain a form of stability in the molecule so here <coughs> most important thing you're observing or your this particular thing that is metal sigma and metal carbon pi bonding because of these two stability of the complex or stability of the metal carbonyl complex increases increases right this concept is called if i have to see this is called p this is p pi back bonding p pi p pi back bonding isn't it so from p the pi bond is like p pi p pi back bonding this is your concept so when they ask you the structure of your uh, uh, metal carbonyl you can write that just fill in i am going it very slowly and explaining you all so that you will not get a doubt when studying this concept now let us come back and see certain examples of your metal carbonyls so remember try to make it in two steps <coughs> and show that final concept
right now let us come back and see the structures of some of the metal carbonyls of the chapter so basically what what how do they give this they're going to give you draw the structure they may give you any example right and after giving the example they may ask you draw the structure of homoleptic metal carbonyls what is homoleptic as i said homoleptic is the presence of only one ligand in the complex if you have two or more then i call it as heteroleptic so all these are homoleptic see one or oh, everywhere you have only carbonyl uh, carbon as a ligand so let's see whenever such compound is given to you see this coordination number coordination number is four it's nothing but tetra isn't it so the structure is tetrahedral structure so it has tetrahedral structure so right draw the nickel in the center one carbonyl above one more down <coughs> one more carbonyl your tetrahedral arrangement done so this is over now when i have to come back to your iron so you this is your pentacarbonyl so you're going to write now this is five isn't it when it is five what do we call we call it as a trigonal bipyramidal grade 11 structures you've studied so this is five so it is trigonal by pyramidal let us draw the structure uh, draw the metal atom fe in the center one above yes <coughs> next two adjacent to it so three are over four and five this is your trigon exactly your t shape observe now let us come back to the next one that is your chromium with six your coordination number is six that means the shape of the molecule would be octahedral octahedral so octahedral we have done in the chapter so central metal atom right in the center carbonyl one two three four five six so write the carbonyl carbon here on all the sides so this is your octahedral structure simple when i have to come back to this so what is the name of this this is called dimanganese decacarbonyl let us write the name dimanganese decacarbonyl done let's write so when i have to write the structure of this simple there are your two manganese isn't it one manganese is placed here the other manganese both are linked done after this <coughs> most important thing i have to place 10 carbonyl groups five on this side five on this side so let's start the so first when you are drawing you can draw like this also but little bit different from ncrt you can make it like this also just see now draw one line here yes just make a cross right here also you can make a cross one one cross here one more cross so place the carbonyls co 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 and co right here again co this is also one more carbonyl this is also one more carbonyl how many are over four on this direction four we are left with the fifth one that is linked here to this carbonyl and this is linked here to this carbonyl so you can make now this is simple isn't it simple so this is dimanganese decacarbonyl now let us come back to this what is the name of this <coughs> this is dicobalt what is this octa octa carbonyl octa means eight carbonyl compound so how are we going to do i have to take carbon cobalt link cobalt first so link them yeah done <coughs> after linking the most important thing one bond here one bond here this is co this is co the next bond here the next bond here one more ligand linked here one more the third one is here now six are over then this okay three plus three six are over the one more carbonyl one more carbonyl that's it this is how you're going to draw the structure simple only thing you have to remember is see the coordination number immediately write the structure so this is your thing this is your structure for trigonal bipyramidal inverted she t octahedral six ligands on all the sides and uh, your uh, dimanganese decacarbonyl the ligands are linked one after the other they bridge together they also they bridge together so let's come back and do the nomenclature of your uh, coordinate compounds then start with the board papers